No, <laughs> I refuse to believe it. So we're showing a lot of fun look back. So it looks back over the last uh, 23 years. Oh, uh, it's a long time. Long That's time. a long, long time. Long time. All right, time now here is uh, 722. Number one New York Times bestselling author James Rollins is at it again. He has made another literary contribution to bookshelves with his new book, Crucible. Mm -hmm. And he's no stranger to the Good Day Studio. No. James Rollins in the building. Thank you. Good to thank see you. you. Good to see you, my <laughs> It's quite friend. an addition. This is a big old book. That's a weighty volume. It is. I get paid by the word. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Pack them in there. Uh, okay, so this is another Sigma story? It is indeed, yes. Okay, okay well, good. well, tell us what it's tell about, us a sir. Bit. Well, this book deals with a crisis that we're all going to face shortly, uh -huh. which is one that Stephen Hawking said, hey, you know, when this happens, it's going to mean the end of civilization. Elon Musk from Tesla said, when this happens, it's going to lead to World War III. Vladimir Putin said, you know, whoever controls this event will control the world, and that's the creation of the first human AI, human-like AI. Oh. And so this book starts out with uh, the murder of a U.S. ambassador in Portugal. Some uh, female scientists are murdered along with her. One escapes, a young researcher named Mara. She escapes with a rudimentary AI she's been working on named Eve. And it's up to Sigma to rescue her and her tech because that tech is evolving quickly into either a godlike being or a demon like no other. Ooh. All of this is in your head. Oh. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> your imagination is insane. Um, I also heard at the very beginning of the book that you tell people that they are doomed if they read it. Really? Yes, there is. <laughs> There is, a, there is a curse buried in this book. Now, it's not a supernatural curse. It's a technological curse. Uh, I fear even mentioning it today because I think you do need to sort of uh, give me uh, permission to curse you. Uh, so I do warn okay. you at the beginning of the book I, that I feel there like you is... should write that on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> I feel well, like... I do need to sell some books. So. Yeah. Some of us of a certain generation are already technologically cursed, but, <laughs> so this might actually undo it. Uh, Maybe. So it's out now, obviously. I can it get is. It. All right. Mm -hmm. and I just what learned uh, yesterday, it uh, reached number two on the New York Times. And so nice. Awesome. Oh. What number is this in the uh, Sigma series? It is number 14. Whoa. Not, Whoa. Not, not that you have to read them in order. Uh -huh. Nobody, okay. nobody has. Well, I yet to have anybody that's read my Sigma books in order. Okay. They usually just jump in wherever they can. Mm -hmm. and but if you've never read James Rollins, do it. Go pick it up from yeah. the beginning because this then you'll right have here. to get to the next book, right? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So, uh, so you say you already have another one in the works, but you know, it's, it's probably uh, time gets tough to, you know, yeah. crank yeah. out the How many books now? 34? 34. 34. I know it's going to be tough to come up with yeah. new ideas for books. So we thought we'd help you out, James. Well, so thank you. This is what we're going to do. Okay. Lisa, I put down three things, each pile. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a pile. So okay. Lisa has an exotic location. Okay. I'll have the hero of the story. Perfect. Mary Ann will have a magical MacGuffin, some sort of item they have to find. Excellent. Okay. And then Courtney will have the bad guys. Super villain. Got it. Ready? Okay. okay. Way over there. Okay. So <laughs> you go and grab what, what you got. What okay. you got? Oh, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I read it. Okay. Mm -hmm. The exotic location is? <laughs> a strip mall in Mozambique. A strip mall in Mozambique. <laughs> I've already um, done a book on that. So. Oh. There oh. will be a brilliant vir virologist named Vicky. Nice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who will have something to do with a candlestick in the library. <gasps> oh. And Courtney, who's the bad guy? And the bad guy is the Alabama Crimson Tide defensive line. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what can Roll you do tide. with that? What can you do with that? <laughs> what can I do with that? Well, I'm sure Vicky is, is looking for that magical candelabra uh -huh. to, At the to withstand the rolling tides. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. the only place they're going to find it, of course, is in the strip mall in Mount Mozambique. Oh, right. right. To, uh, All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Okay, okay, okay. This is Hidden Ice Cave in Antarctica. Oh, I've been there. Yes. The hero <laughs> of the story, a team of highly trained commandos who also have a top-rated podcast. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Okay. Uh, Moses's bedpan. <laughs> <laughs> And the bad guys, remember the movie, Warriors, come out and play, yeah. Oh, yeah, those, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. oh those guys. Oh, those guys. Those guys. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh. okay, so uh, our team of uh, podcast spewing uh, heroes uh -huh, uh -huh. are looking for Moses' bedpan, which is found frozen <laughs> during an Arctic thaw in an ice cave. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, so is all the warriors from that old 80s movie are, are trying to stop them. I wouldn't buy that. You know, this sounds weird, but this is exactly how I do the process. So you just draw I, I literally out of a just hat? have these weird right. ideas, this little location, a little bit of science, a little history. So I just throw them in a box. Get it's jumbled. The yes. Yeah, the, the acknowledgements. That's all we ask for. That's all. Yeah, that's Dedicated all. to, to the fine so. folks at Happy Good Day. Happy to do so. <laughs>
dedicated to yes. Congratulations, sir, on <laughs> another you. fantastic book. <laughs> we love you. We love your words. Thanks for doing that. Thanks for coming in. Like Jeopardy, we'll save the ones we clues we didn't use, and we'll put them on the big board for the next time. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, very okay. good. Yes. <laughs> good to see you. Or good day after this break. <laughs> the Alabama Crimson Tide defensive line, man. Evil! Evil!